I just want to let it be known, I'm really excited for this. And a little scared. Why, 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 why? What is up guys, it's your boy Loki Loki, back at it with another video, and today I'm doing something a little bit different, you guys know I like to do a lot of unboxings on my videos, but I actually have a pair of sneakers here, check them out. These are the eSports collection, have a good game collection from Nike, they're actually not available in the states, so I did order this off StockX from some dude who's probably in China who shipped it out because it is a Chinese exclusive, but they're technically League of Legends sneakers. Yeah, call me a dork, call me a nerd, I don't care. I thought they were fire. I don't have a lot of color in my wardrobe, so this will have to do. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and open these bad boys up. All right, you guys already know this usually fails miserably, but we're gonna try to open it one-handed as per usual. Let's see if it works. Put the blur on my address. Oh, this tape is like not that thick. I hope it didn't cut the shoe. That'd be kind of kind of fucking terrible. <laughs> So here is the box of the Nikes. Uh, I guess this is the Chinese style box. I've actually never seen a box like this. Let's go ahead and open it on up. Uh, I'm a bit nervous, but we'll see what we get. Okay, there's my Stocks X order. It says all the stuff on there. It says it's authenticated, the order number, my address. I'm gonna have to blow that out as per usual. I don't really know what this is. Uh, something about Stock X. Stock X sticker, that's dope. This is the first time I've opened up anything by, this is the first time I've ever bought resale. Oh, that's dope. Oh, yes. Oh, give them to me. Oh, that looks awesome. And you know, honestly, I thought I wasn't gonna be the biggest fan of the soul, but I can deal with it. I'm a fan. Oh, there are some scuff marks over on that left side. We'll have to clean those off, sorry. Yeah, we'll have to definitely clean that off. That is a bit of a disappointment, but a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser should honestly take that out. Let's see if it's got the back stuff too. Uh, it doesn't have the, the the little patch on the back like it should. It's a bit disappointing, but maybe it's still in the box. There's the verified on Oh, okay, here's the patches. The patches are on here. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do this all one-handed. It's not really working out in my favor, but that's all right. Here's the patch right here. Should have a little smiley face. It does, cool beans. There's one of them. I guess I'll just sit that in my chair. Make sure the other one is fine, because with that scuff mark, I'm already just a little bit nervous. I am just a wee bit nervous about the scuff marks, but we should be good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's check the second side, and yes. Wow, they are absolutely clean. I love them. I love them to death. I'm so glad I got them. I hope they fit. If they don't, uh, someone can buy these off me. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the camera view. Uh, as you guys just saw, I opened it up. There was a slight scuff mark on one of them, but that is okay. Uh, it should just be able to be taken out with a Mr. Clean Eraser mark. Uh, it looks really dope. I love it, especially the digitized swoosh you guys can see here. Hold on, if I can get the camera to focus on it. That'd be awesome. There we go. You see the digitized swoosh here? That's really the main reason why I got these over the... Uh, the Air Jordan 1 that they released for the League of Legends collaboration and the Air Jordan 1 was purple and I don't really vibe with purple like that that's just my own opinion but uh versus white I can kind of match it together but you guys will notice if I get up in close I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up yeah hold on Let's see if the focus will work I don't have auto focus on so it probably won't yeah I, I don't think you guys can see it but there are little things here that say Nike and it has the swoosh and it's coming up here these are glow in the dark and I don't know if I could get them to absorb enough light, but if I can, I will show you guys a picture of them glowing in the dark because I think that's honestly dope because a lot of venues, especially in gaming arenas, when they're playing, they tend to get kind of dark or arcades even, they get dark and you can see those light up when you're in those arcades. And that's what these are really supposed to symbolize and stand for. Uh, let me go ahead and well, untie them first of all, because they're tied up. The laces are kind of colorful not really i mean they're white laces but the tips are at the very least i think they're called aglets i don't remember they're really kind of lace tight my only concern is is that and i know this is kind of fucked up because you would think that this is a plus here but they got shipped very quickly and when i say very quickly i mean really quickly i bought these like i think a day after they dropped in china okay because I tried to buy them from Nike, but they didn't. They told me they, they weren't selling them in the U.S. And um, 
yeah, I bought them, and the dude had them ready to ship within like two days. So I don't know if that means he got them quickly, or if he already had some on him from like a pre-release or some shit like that. But, I don't know, that was a little bit, I guess, not suspicious, but like, just wondering how he did it. Alright, so first thoughts, I have them on my feet now. Uh, they're pretty comfortable. They're not, they're not as uncomfortable as I thought they would be after I unlaced them. Because, uh, while I was unlacing them, I was, I was like, watch these things not fit. I was gonna be so disappointing. But they do fit, and they actually fit nicely, and they're, uh, much more comfortable than I thought. Uh, they are kind of higher up on my foot, which I am kind of short. So, it's gonna be kind of weird looking, but I'll be alright. Uh, probably wouldn't wear it with this outfit that I'm about to show you the on-feet pics on. But I feel like it's not really a sneaker unboxing unless I show you guys what the shoe looks like on my foot. So, that'd be kind of weird if I didn't do it. I'm gonna do it now anyways. Just keep in mind, probably shouldn't be wearing shorts with these. <laughs> So yeah, I really love the uh, the digitized Nike swoosh on it, like I said. The coloring here, through like here, I know it's supposed to kind of represent like the arcade pixel colors, but I'm not really seeing where they got their design inspo from because I'm pretty sure RGB would have made more sense. And they definitely went with uh, cyan purple red, but uh, I won't complain. Uh, I also noticed that these little like side panels here, through the StockX thing, these little side panels here right here kind of have like a little bit of a reflective vibe to them. I don't know if I can get it to show. Same with like down here on the toe box. It's got a little bit of a reflection type thing to it. I don't know how I feel about that. I honestly kind of wish they had kept this kind of same like white material here and just ran with that vibe because it would have been a little bit more cleaner. Uh, especially considering the backs are already velcro and this is already colorful as hell but so far so good i like them thank you guys so much for watching i know this was a relatively short video but uh, i just wanted to show you guys the shoes because i thought they were pretty neat and it would be a good idea to do an unboxing considering this is still somewhat gaming related and i haven't seen anybody else that had a pair of these yet so if you guys actually managed to get a pair of these or something else from the lpl uh collaboration go ahead and let me know in the comments uh, I'd be totally stoked to see your guys' videos of the shoes or whatever else you guys bought because there was like a bunch of other shoes. There were some um, <clears throat> Air Force Ones, there were the Air Jordans, and a bunch of other stuff that hasn't been released yet in this picture right here that they show us. Uh, so I'm a little bit shocked that none of this is coming to North America, but I, I, I guess we can kind of just roll with the punches here. We don't really, you know, you just buy it off StockX or GOAT or whatever is your preferred method of uh, streetwear acquisitions on the aftermarket but it's a little bit uh, i guess upsetting that we didn't get it from nike themselves but i guess they just don't care about the north american market like that but it is what it is i will catch you guys on the next one uh be sure to stick around and subscribe to the channel uh i will be putting out a bunch more content for the youtube channel i know i've been kind of neglecting it and i've been gone for a bit but school's been kind of eating up my time and obviously the setup's changed as you guys can tell we got a new camera and everything uh so keep on the lookout for the new vlogs and stuff I'm going to be posting. I might post some stream highlights here and there. And I'm also going to be posting in some new tutorials for how to level up your stream. Because I know a lot of people tend to like those. And I think that I've learned a lot about it while trying to upgrade my own. That I could share that knowledge with you guys for the better. Catch you guys on the next one. Stay frosty people. And damn do I love these. Ooh.